Comet 12P, current location, still by Cygnus, by the wing, heading towards in Pegasus, which is rendezvous with Aries during the, the eclipse in April. The new coma diameter is estimated at 452,000 kilometers wide. Here it is right here, heading in that direction. It had a seventh outburst, seventh. Number siete, numero siete, and Jupiter is still by the feet of Aries. Okay, let's get into this from Jerusalem as always. January 21st. Yesterday on January 19th, Friday, Space Weather put this article out Ice geyser erupts on Comet 12P. So this is numero siete, seven. The other one was scheduled, was a misfire, uh, was 29th and 30th of December but it wasn't captured or seen as amateur astronomers but we did have that class flare on the 31st right by new year's it's not like this these comets are being observed 24 7 unless the big boys are doing it and you're not gonna hear nothing about it we'll check the jpl observation to see what the numbers are the newest numbers are but looking at this and i encourage you to read this i'm gonna skip over it and i'm gonna go straight into the image right here let me enlarge it okay this is what we're looking at from odd from oslo on january 18th he writes here excellent excellent detailed description this guy is one of the one of the best new outburst now possible first discovered by elliot comet is probably a, a very low rotating tumbler and he gives the uh, Wikipedia links and then he reminds us of the meteor showers November 29th to December 13th and he puts down indicating its final lifetime of its way towards deterioration into an orbital meteor cloud in the distant future. The outburst may be a sign of this similar to Comet 73P which I covered and I had a I covered intensely and that data information is gone but and then he gives a reference to 73p and i know 73p history because i was doing it play by play back then then he provides a lot of links i mean this is back when 73 broke into numerous i think it was 67 fragments back in 2006 and how close those fragments missed us I mean, missed us closely, kind of like the movie Greenland, which they had, what, a couple years ago? But for him to be mentioning this comet, 73P, I mean, it used to be on Google. Now I can't find it. It's been eliminated. Why well, cover 73P and how his story, how it broke up, the orbital data, everything. So good idea to restudy 73P. 3p path and his story since they're making reference of 73p and comet home it's like a mystery here bits and pieces of a riddle so i did 73p it was it was on google once upon a time and it's long gone a lot of the information is long gone doing my best to to cover this going back in my old charts that i did survive how i projected it how i had the angle and all the other stuff associated with these 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 prior comets so basically i'm going on recall sometimes i feel like this old man right here telling the story following these visitors these omens these messengers reminding myself of the challenges we all face today white buffalo boy do i have connection with the white buffalo story you have no idea so um i see myself like following following the comet following major comets which have story ancient stories to tell time of the ancient you know right in the back of it right inside of it like this illustration which i love you know following it 
trying to make sense, trying to decipher it, going back in ancient times, trying to make sense of it all, trying to see if I could find something of the ancient knowledge. Looking at uh, JPL NASA latest, last updated January 16th, uh, which was about five days ago. Salute observation up to 6,196. So it's going up and it will continue going up. Looking at the last report I put out January 5th was at 6,077. So it's gone up tremendously since then. The last video I put out on this, this one right here, the 25th video that I've done on this comet. So, I mean, I've had my, I've, I've had my eyes on this for a long time and I try to bring a piece of the puzzle to the table and it's so difficult. It is so difficult to do. I mean, I could do videos every day I could for hours and hours and hours and still don't even come 1% close. I mean, for my standards on this, just taking a quick look location where is that let's look at it like let's pretend we're stereo parked in front of earth looking at the sun that's where it's located at. it's on a down downward trajectory as it gets closer and closer to the april may june events on the 21st of april which is passover the beginning of passover and june 2nd which a lot of people are seeing reference to a lot of these movies they're putting out june 2nd june 2nd Looking at the chart, which they haven't changed, they're 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 going to stick with this this chart. They're not going to. I don't think I don't see them budging, even if it, even though it had another outburst. Which they have it here at a, around an eight, and it's still above the track. But they haven't budged on this, not yet. Oh, well, right now, with the outburst it had, it's the brightest comet in the sky right now. Looking at the uh, the sky. It still has, because uh, they always seem to be changing this information. Talks about a 71 year orbit, 71.3 orbit. That's where it's located at right now. It's reporting 8.8 eight magnitude. Still the same orbit, 20th. Like I said, once upon a time, I used to raise this up. So that's where it's located at. The seventh outburst, outburst that we know of. Who knows? If you don't have eyes on it 24 7, because they change. It changes constantly all the time. If you take a picture today, it won't be the same tomorrow. Or you take a picture, let's say, let's say six o'clock in the morning by noon, it'll be different. You see, it's constantly changing. And we don't know. I mean, we had reports on the other prior videos of fragmentation, fragmentation. In other words, breaking apart or objects leaving it. I mean, I've done video on that. So we don't know. But we know this, I know this, and I can't prove it. As the closer it gets, the more influence, in my opinion, this is all my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be one of those, don't know what the hell he's talking about. I mean, since, but uh, since I'm, and I wish my English was better, was better. I wish I was able to communicate better, relay the information better, have better be graphic, but I don't. This is raw. This is grandpa simple. <coughs> Even with all the new softwares out there that I could apply, improve my video graphics. I haven't done. Keep it as simple as possible. I make no money out of this. I'm prevented from making an income from this because of being interfered with by evil forces. I don't want this information or some of the information or eyes on this. Or vet just pure vengeance not realizing the impact is having the impact is having on people I mean there seems to be a tremendous hate trip rise of anything to do with Jesus Christ I mean the same players attacking anybody with Jesus Jesus I mean, it, it's horrific how they, how they mock 
Jesus and the behaviors and they don't even realize they're under the, the influence, how they abuse elders. There's no respect for elders, people being attacked in a nursing home, people building underground bunkers like crazy. You're hearing stories of people building underground bunkers immediately already or those already had it like Zuckerberg, for example, 10 years in the making. And I guess the only reason it came out recently, I guess it's completed. I mean, they wiped out, I mean, they got the island already. It's not only him. There's a tremendous, there's a tremendous urgency to have these underground bunkers up and running at ASAP. Imagine the others that you don't even know about that have it already. You know, just people losing their minds. Just losing their minds. And the thing is, they don't even know why they're losing their mind. There's so many, so many clues in your face to decipher. So much reminders being provided. Taseñando signs por todo lado. There's signs being shown all over the place. But if you're not tuned into it or aware of it, it's going to catch you off guard so fast. You're not even going to know what hit you. I mean, people be just becoming violent and they get abusing people. No shame, no restraint, none. I mean, things being seen, things being activated. Who knows, as this comic gets closer and closer, I mean, you're seeing things being activated all over the place. You're seeing signs for those that look for signs. You're seeing it. You're trying to blow the trumpet. People being rewarded for lies and deception, destroying lives and having no mercy no compassion whatsoever all this has been prophesized all this has been prophesized all this that's happening is what they're going to deal with for those left behind yes there's a the rapture yes there is but before it was coined back in the 1800 there were other older texts that talk about so many so many clues right in our face it's like what can you do, right? I mean, you could blow your trumpet, which I'm doing. Mission was always when I was brought back from my near death, and I've said it from day one, and I'll continue saying it to date to the day I get taken back. Save one. You gotta ask yourself, out of all the religions, why they the intense attack on Christianity, the attack on Christians? Why they focus on the attack on Christians? I mean, there's been reference of the rapture or written word way before right here number 17 the theologian in this bible verse right here 1 4 17 caught up in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise it's all there but it's not only there, there's other places also. It's also found in, in the Hopi prophecies also. I mean, it's all written, it's all there. So, trying to muster up the energy video is not meant for the weak-minded it's not meant for talks about those vanishing right before your eyes like a great smoke they they also warn about the rapture but in a different way in their language their interpretation so with all these underground bunkers being built fast or being finally discovered or finally being revealed means that 
they know something that we don't know. The powers that be, the powers that be know something. Yeah, they know something. They, they know something, something is coming. Not even the ancient were able to stop the destruction of a comet, the effects it had on a comet. Even with all the high technology and all the advanced technology they had back then, they all met, they all went through a phase of destruction. So whatever it is, they, they feel that's coming. And you're not going to know about it until the day of the event. But clues are out there. And I say, I try to say, I try to relay what it might be. Not even the angels know the time of the Lord return. But Jesus did give us clues. Look to the stars for signs. And for those of us, few, that do look to the stars. And for those of us few few that are willing to put it on the line put your reputation doesn't your 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 thoughts in the open knowing that the other side is going to attack you use the weakest link to attack you and destroy you which was part of the i guess the mission knowing that that was going to happen in my case i mean i could find myself homeless very soon because of the laws that put in place by the nation of harlots, the mother of harlots, the mystery of Babylon. Doesn't matter if you're the innocent party, you will still be crucified. Just the fact that you're a man, it don't matter. And do you think that the one, the creator, meant it to be this way? I'm talking about the one, the force of one that even created the gods. Do you think that God, the creator of the universe, of everything, I mean the boss, a jefe, it's just going to sit back and let this continue or is there going to be a restart or is there going to be a reset and if that reset did come like the other prior civilizations the dinosaurs you name it could go hundreds of thousands millions of years back in time how did they, all of them finally meet their demise they all have one thing in common all of the prior civilizations and this one and that's why probably people have fear throughout history of these visitors regardless of your religion regardless of your belief in reincarnation there's always been a fear of these messengers why do you think they call the harbinger of doom omens and why do you think the attention every time there's one nearby that gets their attention is because they know inside their spirit is this the one and if let's say that book the end of eden from ram Phillips is correct or let's say one percent of it's correct i mean he must have done a lot of research to specifically name that comet that i'm covering right now let's say it's an ancient ancient visitor and to put reference of its final possible demise after thousands and thousands of years thousands of years who knows how many even though they said they rediscovered it in 1812 or 18 hundreds who knows how long this visitor companion has been around who's to say i don't know i'm not even pretend to know but i do know this if something like this was to happen it would definitely wipe out this house i don't know if this is the fifth house or the sixth house i don't remember it's happened before and it can happen again i know this that it says by fire the destruction of this house of this classroom of this reality will come by fire question is fire from from where i mean it's it's right in front of your face for those that can see for those that can't see are part of this they're being used like pawns like puppets to destroy they're doing a, they're doing their job and they're going to get what they deserve right now they're benefiting from the lies and deception when they leave here this reality don't be judged i mean god is not gonna lie to us this has all been a school and don't be judged you might think they got it made but in the end they don't hatred is 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 rampant hatred affects everything everything and they get rewarded are these bunkers are gonna do any good maybe short term yes but i know this for me personally this is just me, my feelings, my opinion. When that day comes, 
I'm not going to be hiding because I'll know, I know that my mission is complete. I've done the, I've done the best I could. If I was able to save one, just one, I did my job.